everyone. I've just been to the premiere of Revolution in Oxford. It's the film made by Dr. James Martin, the founder of Oxford Martin School, University of Oxford. It was a big turnout and lots of interesting questions from the floor and uh, Dr. James Martin and Professor Ian Golden, the director of Oxford Martin School, uh, answered all these questions. And everyone seemed to have enjoyed it all. Revolution in Oxford. Wow, revolution. In the Oxford. Look around here, everywhere, all the buildings, and all the history, and the students and the professors. Uh, whenever they attend important events, even exams, students have to wear gown. Revolution is a very sensational word. Now we are going to find out more about it. We are going to have an interview with Dr. James Martin in the Masters of Living Room at Balliol College, University of Oxford. I hope you will enjoy it. Dr. Martin, why did you found the Oxford Martin School? We're moving into a century in which there are huge problems for humanity, many different types of problems. And the past Oxford has had a big effect on social problems and, and, and on scholarship relating to political issues. And that really must be true in the 21st century. So the goal is to take the biggest problems and find the best solutions to those problems. And as we find the biggest problems, we also find the biggest opportunities for to, to do new and interesting things. Why did you choose Oxford to host a school? I looked at various universities, and particularly American ones, and I think if it had been an American university, it would have been far more dominated by engineering, say. Whereas here, Oxford is full of philosophers, and you can everything we do must have multidisciplinary research. And you have people of all disciplines in Oxford, so the key was to try and to get them to interact in the correct way. Looking back on it now, I think it was the right choice. I don't think any other university, perhaps Cambridge, could have done what we have done with the Martin School. What are the benefits of an interdisciplinary approach? Well, most of the very big problems, like studying climate change or geoengineering, need many disciplines. They cannot be solved by just one set of PhDs of the same discipline. So you've got to have PhDs with entirely different disciplines, interacting with each other very closely. And so that's very important. I really enjoyed your film, Revolution in Oxford. Why did you make it? Well, what is happening in the school is quite extraordinary, and there's nothing else like it anywhere else. But in a sense, it's the world's best kept secret, and people don't know about it. So I wanted to make a short film which would show what the school is doing, and so that was the reason for making it. As films go, it broke all the basic rules of filmmaking. The number one rule of filmmaking is you don't do anything without a script. And this film didn't have a script at all. Everybody you see speaking there doesn't have a script. And so what they say is coming from the heart or from the intellect. And then it, it all gets connected together. So the film uh, has a very high level of integrity because it's the professors saying what they want to say. In such a rapidly changing world, are there any recent developments not included in your film or book, which could excite you? Yes, there are giant problems which are not included. Uh, one of the most dangerous ones that people just don't want to talk about is the, a new era of nuclear weapons. If you could choose one issue highlighted in your film and have it solved by tomorrow, which would it be? Um, there are huge um, thing hanging over us is the danger of destroying the climate of Earth. And so that is extremely important. Certainly we couldn't solve that tomorrow. It's very complicated, it needs many different approaches, many different disciplines. You know, Voices from Oxford is watched by the general public as well as uh, Oxford academics and students. Uh, do you have any tips to young people? Yes, I think young people are living at a very exciting time. Their world is going to be quite extraordinary. And there's so much to learn, so they need to be taught how to learn as efficiently as possible and then uh, persuaded that they've got to go on learning throughout life. Learning doesn't stop when you get your bachelor's degree. It goes on through life. And Most young people today are going to, be, to live to be more than 100. 
I just about have two uh, new grandchildren. I've been telling them their life expectancy is 120. So don't think of retiring at 60. Think of a very long journey in which for the whole of that journey you are learning the things that are important. I hope uh, your interview will help uh, young people and our audience to have an even better journey. Uh, yes. Thank you very Thank much you. for your precious time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.